This symphony is unique to Beethoven because it has five movements, but also because it is narrative, because it tells a very specific story. It is an abstraction like all music, but it evokes very specific meanings. So in the first movement, we are going from the city, which is in the distance in the top left, through a country road to relax. It's just really, as Beethoven said, walking in a countryside. And we do that in the second movement by a babbling brook. Very, very simple forms and shapes, but they are the same thing. They are, in fact, mirror images of the same shape because the first leaving the city and being by a river are the same idea, that of a sort of voluptuous peacefulness. It's incredible because technically it's one of the most difficult movements to recreate simplicity. Sometimes it's very complicated. There's a party going on in the third movement, which is always fun. The locals are just so much fun and they like to party and you get to be part of it. So you see all these circles dancing and those circles then turn into the fourth movement into a big storm. How to depict a tempest on music? I don't know, but Beethoven was able to do it. After a certain number of minutes, one and a half, it's becoming unbearable and opening up to this serenity of the last movement, which is just filling all the space of your life. We've almost forgotten about the journey of what the circles have been in the previous symphonies. And when we get to the sunrise and the sort of clearing in the final movement, we are allowed to again think about what is this journey of the circle? What are these notes, these primal forms gonna do as they peacefully venture off into space?